I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody. So here we have this uh, SanDisk Z400S 2.5 um, inch 7 millimeter solid state drive. It's a 2V60 gig solid state drive. This came out of a Dell laptop of some model. Don't know exactly what the model is at this point. Um, I've had this thing for probably two or three years maybe. Um, what it is is uh, the, uh, the client um, brought brought her laptop to me <clears throat> because it was getting really slow and she happened to have some technology already so she had went ahead and purchased a brand new solid state drive and just want me to go and replace this SSD with a brand new one so I did um, and I kept this one I, actually I did make a video about this drive at some point um, I installed it into my Instrum 1525 laptop and did a uh, clean install Windows 10 on it and I noticed that at first it was nice and snappy but over time things got real slow and it's like the, the partition just corrupted itself so what this thing was doing and I noticed it in the event viewer what it was doing a disk would just it would go unresponsive for a certain amount of seconds and come back on and get respond unresponsive and come back on and it seemed like it would just do it more and more and more and more until the SSD the speed of it just got down to an absolute crawl um, to the point where it was unusable you could you could format it into a clean install again and it would repeat the process over again that's why it can't, that's why the laptop came to me originally because it was super super slow um, very unresponsive so we're going to plug this up to the Plex scene and have another look at it. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I, I did a search on the internet and I noticed that Dell, in fact, has a uh, has a firmware update available for this solid state drive. The uh, update was released uh, back in May 2016 last updated in January 2018, which I believe the uh, former date was after I had gotten this SSD. So, you can see under importance it says recommended. So, we're going to download this file and we're going to plug up this SSD and see if we can do anything with it. Okay, so we got the uh, SSD plugged up. Now, let's go ahead and give this a try here. And you can see it's detected our uh, SSD. And it's detected that our new firmware version is available, so we're going to update the firmware. And as you mentioned, there is a risk um, of data loss from the upgrade of firmware on, on a drive like this. I've covered this, I think, in a video regarding uh, a faulty uh, firmware on Intel SSDs on a certain model of Intel SSD to where it would actually wipe your drive in the process of updating the firmware so just keep this in mind it doesn't necessarily mean every time you update the firmware on, on a uh, drive like that it's going to flash it's going to wipe your drive but just keep that in mind and just use caution back up your files if necessary It says the firmware has been upgraded successfully, so we need to power cycle the firmware. So don't restart the computer, we actually need to shut it off. So we'll power it off. And now I'll start it back up.
Let's go ahead and log back in here. Now I'm going to actually have to run this drive through some testing um, to see if in fact it's uh, working fine now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and just perform a wipe on this drive since uh, we don't care about what's on it. Um, I think what's on it is still from a previous uh, test and I'm sure the drive has done its little uh, it's a little thing where it would just go offline for a little bit and come back online. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and run a run a test, and um, I'll then pull up Event Viewer and look for logs of the drive um, going offline. So let's run a uh, run a partition wizard here. It does take a second to come up. In the meantime, I'm going to pull up the event viewer. So this here is our all state drive and we're just gonna do a we're just gonna do a white disk operation which takes a little while to do it fills it fills all the sectors with zeros and we're just going to apply that operation and let it do its thing so instead of just doing a quick format to the drive it actually does a full hard wipe um, where it, it actually just writes data to the drive. So the uh, the errors would show up as warnings in the system logs. And it would have to do with the disk. So let's give it some time and let's see what happens here. Okay, everybody. So the uh, the the wipe has completed, and if we look in Event Viewer, there's our warnings from earlier, which are unrelated. There's no more issues with the disk apparently. I don't see any warnings or errors in here, and I can sort by uh, level. Just try to get to the latest ones here. You can see um, this is an example of a disk kind of warning. Um, I get these once in a while because, for example, I use the Plexi for wiping drives as well as um, cloning drives, and sometimes, um, and sometimes it involves drives that are pretty much on their last leg that are failing. Um, and there's a whole there's a whole slew of these in here from <laughs> July 10th but anyways um, here's some other examples of uh, disk errors um, you can see this this actually um, classified as a error level notification um, and sometimes I'll get these because um, Whenever I uh, plug up drives to the Plexi to image them and stuff like that, well, not just image, but actually uh, for wiping and, and transferring files, sometimes we'll get these. And this, these errors here are from last night when I was recovering files off the uh, Black Max's uh, failing Seagate hard drive. So that's just as an example. So I think really the best way to test this out would be to uh, create a temporary Windows 10 installation on that SSD. So we're going to actually go ahead and do just that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and insert my Windows 10 installation media, so it's a USB stick. And we're going to go ahead and restart. Close everything out. And we're going to install on just 
the uh, solid state drive. Okay, everybody, so let this thing run for a bit and um, don't see any errors um, involving the disc. I did refresh it. I'll go ahead and refresh it again. No errors involving the disc. It would say it actually mentioned disc over here in the source. So it seems like that firmware flash fixed this little solid drive. That's pretty interesting to see. So I guess I'll go ahead and end it here. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well everybody, that's it for this video. But don't forget, there's a lot more interesting stuff on the channel to check out. Also, if this is your first time visiting this channel, feel free to subscribe to keep your channel. And also don't forget to tick the bell so that way you'll get notified of new video posts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. But if you really didn't like it, there is the alternative option available as well. Also, feel free to check out my second channel, CubeComp MTDX. There you'll find videos about bicycling, weather, elevator tours, and all sorts of other neat, interesting stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to come back and thank you for your support.